BYU always defers on the kickoff because they want to get their defense on the field as quickly as possible. Here's why. Picked off Kyle Van Noy, 10-5, touchdown, KVN, first play of the game, pick six. It was just going to be a slant route, you know, one of those quick hitches that everybody likes to throw on first down against BYU. Kyle softened up a little bit, got up in the air, just stuck in his hands. Only the second interception of the year for Chucky, but turnovers went both ways early. Taysom Hill takes a big hit for Maurice Alexander and fumbles the ball. Utah State recovers at their own 15. Then it doesn't take Chucky long. He hits Travis Van Leeuwen for a seven-yard touchdown. Keaton's 18th touchdown pass of the year. Still in the first quarter, and Taysom Hill and Mitch Matthews begin their huge day. Hill, near side, has Mitch Matthews, goes up, catches it, inside the 10, first and goal, Cougars. 28 yards down to the Aggie 9. Sets up another bright spot and surprise for the Cougars. Justin Sorensen drills a 27-yarder. He's 8 for 9 on the season and a perfect 15 for 15 on PATs. Then the most devastating play of the season. Chucky has some pressure. Chucky pulls it down. Chucky on the run. Chucky tucks. Chucky's not going to get there. Wani Unga forcing a fumble, but it may have been down either way. Is that Chucky who's down? No, it, it does look like Chucky. Oh, man. Looks like a pinball down there getting hit at the end of that play. Just saw the replay, and Chucky right grabs for his left knee as he goes down. Yeah, well, so it is Keaton still down. That left, that, that the lower part of the left leg wobbled at the end. Kyle Van Noy comes out and pats Chucky Keaton on the hind end, and so does Wani Yunga. Chucky out for the rest of the game, worried that it might be for the season. Second quarter, and BYU starts to put together a nice little drive. Jamal to the secondary, midfield Jamal. Jamal Williams, 44 yards to the Aggie 30, sets up this. Jamal Williams on the carry. And Taysom on a play action. Lobs it for the end zone. Man open there, Mitch Matthews caught it for the touchdown. Taysom Hill to Mitch Matthews, 30-yard strike. Taysom's second TD toss of the year. The first touchdown reception of Mitch Matthews' BYU career. And the Cougars take a 17-7 lead. But the tandem isn't satisfied. Hill and Matthews don't land on the same page on a couple routes. Both sophomores have a lively discussion on the sideline. KVN tries to mediate, but Taysom has something he wants to get off his chest. BYU takes a 17-7 lead in at halftime. They get the ball back to start the third. Taysom leaves his favorite target to find Cody Hoffman. 20-yard gain. That's his complaint to Cody Hoffman. Hill would do his damage through the air. This six-yard little lob pass to his buddy. Matthews gets his second touchdown catch. Taysom takes the snap, throws for the end zone, lofts it up there. Mitch Matthews makes the catch for a touchdown. There it is. Touchdown, Cougars. BYU would wrap up their scoring in the third. Taysom steps up. He's got a man wide open. Oh, Mitch Matthews with the hat trick. He walks in for six. Touchdown, Cougars. 30-7 to seven with the PAT pending. Boy, when... Uh... But it looked like that Taysom was having a little bit of trouble. All of a sudden, that secondary just let Mitch Matthews go. And uh, Taysom Hill did a terrific job to find him and then threw a nice, soft ball with a lot of touch. Career best for everybody. 278 yards for Taysom. All three touchdowns to Matthews and just one pick. Matthews would finish the day five catches, 112 yards. But Taysom still had another best in his hip pocket. Pull away from Taysom. Taysom's got room to the right. Sets. Goes home run. Oh, there's a man there. Does he get to it? Yes. Caught. Kurt Henderson at the 20-yard line. Inside the 20. Taysom Hill on loads. <laughs> the longest throw of his career unleashes this 60-yarder to Kurt Henderson. And BYU would roll to the 31-14 win.